Thank you. This is Omori. Yesterday I was in Hakodate where I gave a lecture in the medical society meeting. The director chairperson gave the lectures first and I was the third speaker and uh, I was uh, uh, I didn't have uh, enough time to speak. Initially, I was given 40 minutes, but I was asked to, to talk just for 20 minutes instead. Uh, in and My talk is not uh, so an academic, so please be, feel relaxed. Uh, I am a director of the film and uh, at Osaka University of Arts. I have been teaching in the film department. And then uh, the students of this university, um, of course they are very young and uh, in a couple of years uh, the millennium generation or the even younger generation will fill the university. And uh, I ask sometimes these students to pick three films they remember the most. At least one or sometimes all of the three films they choose are animated films. They are a generation younger than we are and for us it is a bit shocking that we think that the animated film is not the real sense of a film but uh, this may be a, quite a controversial comment today. But Kurosawa's uh, uh, film are considered to be equal to the animated films mm -hmm. among the young people. And uh, the animated film, I don't like to dismiss that as a, a way of expression. Uh, the animated film is one of uh, the culture that Japan is proud of to the world and uh, uh, the, the level of completedness is one of the best, I think, in the world. Uh, we also have the film festival, film award in Japan and uh, the animated film is just grouped um, this in the same group with uh, the, the action, live action films. Uh, for example, last year, the animated film in this corner of the world um, got a lot of awards. Again, I am not intending to dismiss the animated film in comparison to the real uh, live action films. But I still have to admit that I felt something is wrong with this. And then for this symposium, I was a given. Uh, I was given a title. What do people act for? Why do we act? And when we encounter this title, I saw what's beneath my strange feeling. That is about acting. Acting is something human do. This is a very primitive principle. And. Uh, Direction is something a human does to other humans. If this is the definition, and then in animated film, there is no acting or no directing either. There may be some something resembling to that, but in animated film, uh, the people do not act and there is no direction by the people. In our film, um, if that film gets an award for the best picture, for example, uh, the, uh, the protagonist or antagonist will be chosen for the be best actors or actress. But if the animated film gets the award for best picture, who is going to appear on the stage as the best actor and best actress? Probably that is why I felt something is wrong with this. Um, I shouldn't say anything more about animated film because if I say something additional, it may go viral. But 
the probably animated film is uh, is some other form of film art in a different genre. So today's my topic is about the CG expression in the film. Um, to put it crudely, CG computer graphics is a film created by computer. And uh, with CG technology, you can make everything, anything, from the cityscape to mountains, the ocean, and even the cosmos. Uh, once we have to, we had to shoot with camera, but just with a keyboard and monitor screen, we can create everything and anything. It is not limited to the landscape. Even the every living creatures can be reproduced or produced by CG. The tigers, lions, and elephants in the zoo, you can depict them with the CG, and also microorganisms and insects. And also, even now, extinct dinosaurs, everything can be drawn by CG. And then we have a kaiju, a kind of monster that can only be seen in the film. Godzilla is a famous film of Japan that was produced in 1954. Before that, in the US, um, there were mega creature films such as King Kong. They used the technology called Dynamation. Uh, they made guignol, big doll, and uh, that was used and shot frame by frame. One second has 24 frames in the film, so you have to move this guignol a doll 24 times to create one second length. Um, now we have a similar uh, the film called uh, clay animations, the method is the same. When we produced Godzilla film, we also think about using the similar technology. However, um, to improve the efficiency and the time and the budget, uh, we thought that it will be better to use the full body suit. Uh, we call them as a suit actor or suited actor today. Sound cool, but um, back then the actors in this full body suit of Godzilla visited the zoo, actual zoo, to observe the behavior of gorillas and rhinos and elephants. And then uh, we recorded in a slower motion to enhance the reality. And this actually worked phenomenally, and it became a big hit. And still, uh, this film is shown here and there. It's almost like a classical work. And since then, when it comes to kaiju monster-based film, this uh, full body suits became a norm. But in contrast, in the US, this method was not used. Dynamation continued. Why in Japan we continuously used this full body suit instead of a dynamation? There are many theories behind it. And one of them is as we enjoyed the performance. Um, in the US, uh, they don't have a kabuki or no, this kind of traditional performing arts, but we have them. What I mean is that uh, the face masks or uh, the behaving as if the other characters, this was a part of the traditional performing arts of Japan. This may not be um, 
correct, co- uh, correct to say, but the costume play, cosplay, uh, may also derive it from kabuki, for example, because uh, that is very popular in Japan. And uh, when I enjoyed children's kabuki, I saw some commonalities between the two. So this type of costume covering or heavy makeup of the actors of kabuki and face masks of no. Uh, because we had this traditionally, this uh, full body suit type of performance became the mainstream. Uh, I would not delve into this to too much details. But dynamation in the U.S. and uh, the full body suits in Japan um, was the 20th century. And in the 21st century, we have CG. And in the U.S., they started to use computer graphics to show uh, the dinosaurs. And uh, Jurassic Park is one of the most famous one. I watched that film and it was really lively. And they succeeded about it phenomenally. And since then in Hollywood, the mega creatures, they use CG. And in Japan, I, I am a kind of the last generation of the full body suits and now the CG is uh, getting the currency, and I think that this will be the mainstream. But the why do people act and perform, coming back to this theme I was given, as I mentioned in the animation, uh, the acting is what human does, and the direction is something human does to other humans. And then the what about the CG? CG, in CG, uh, the dinosaur acts according to the computer calculation. So in that sense, the kaiju or the monster in Japanese film in the old days that was directed by the human and the inside of this kaiju there was an actor so it was direction and the acting the acting is directed by the special effect directors so there was no recalculation operation by computer involved in that Uh, this is Mr. Koichi Kawakita, uh, the director, my fellow director. He unfortunately passed away three years ago. Uh, he was dubbed as Mr. Godzilla. Um, he directed most of the film of Godzilla. And I myself was involved in it. Um, I. Uh, he directed the Godzilla like this. This is again the way this kaiju walks. Um, he is explaining how to walk to the Godzilla, and the Godzilla listened to, to that direction. And uh, he is saying, Shout now, shout to Godzilla. Uh, this is the King Hidra, uh, the enemy of Godzilla and they are fighting and directed. Uh, this is the TV tower of Sapporo, and this Godzilla is about to destroy this. And this is how the hand of Godzilla should move. And this is a part of the direction. And this is a space Godzilla, and uh, the, how the mouth should be shaped. There is a clear direction like this, and uh, directing Godzilla to go in this direction, and Godzilla is attentively listening to the director. So this is a uniqueness of uh, this type of Godzilla film without CG. The uh, Godzilla and the kaiju acts 
as was directed by the director. And I directed two Godzilla films, and uh, Mr. Kawakita was involved in the special effect direction. The first one was Godzilla versus Violante. Uh, this was the first experience for both of us to be in Godzilla film. So I put every possible energy into it uh, with several failures, but basically we were able to do everything we wanted. Uh, that gave me a lot of sense of fulfillment. And two years after that, uh, because that Godzilla versus Violante was highly acclaimed, and I got another order of producing another Godzilla films. As I said, I had done almost everything I wanted, and Mr. Kawakita had already done everything he wanted in the first film. So this time, what should we do? We came up with a new idea. We hoped that the Kaiju Godzilla will do the acting by itself. Um, it was an emotion. So the anger is okay, but how about love? Love to be acted by Godzilla. The Godzilla feels something and filled with emotions. That is what we wanted to create this time around. And we, uh, I wrote the screenplay the weeping Godzilla, crying Godzilla. Um, Mr. Kawakita loved this idea, so we wanted to put the maximum emotion to the facial expression of the Godzilla. And then we came up with a story. Uh, at the end of the Pacific War in the southern island, the U.S. troops invaded that island to uh, attack and the Japanese troop uh, were prepared to be completely uh, attacked and uh, defeated. But uh, from some reason, the, Go the Godzilla the, or dinosaur abruptly appeared to the island, and then the Japanese troops, the remnant, went back to the main island. And uh, the playing the forward uh, several decades, Japan enjoyed a prosperity with the um, advancement of the industry in a peaceful world. Uh, this film was made at the top of the bubble economy when Japan actually enjoyed the prosperity. And uh, this uh, the one military soldier uh, who was almost defeated by uh, the American troops now was uh, the executive of a successful company. And now the Godzilla came to the mainland of Japan uh, after uh, the U.S. military had the nuclear testing in some island and the Godzilla was uh, evolved into the sorry, the dinosaur was evolved into the Godzilla and landed to the mainland of Japan. So this is a phenomenal encounter between this uh, the soldier turned executive and dinosaur turns Godzilla. So I understand human, human being can recall 50 years ago, but whether Godzilla is able to recall 50 years ago. So whether Godzilla can remember a man uh, whom he met 50 years ago. So there are many uh, questions. But this is a story made up to show the emotion of Godzilla. So this is the uh, storyboard that uh, Mr. Kawakita created. So here in this scene, So this is the scene that we discussed a lot about the facial expression and uh, the effect, special effect was uh, taken care by Mr. Kawakita, but uh, I gave a direction to this actor, human actor, but in the original screenplay, Godzilla was supposed to shed tears, but uh, the Mr. Kawakita changed this uh, uh, screenplay a little bit, so Godzilla didn't really shed tear, 
um, because he thought it's too much to make Godzilla shed tears. That's why uh, the Godzilla didn't um, shed tears. Among different than Godzilla films, this is the um, most um, emotional scenes uh, for Godzilla. Of course, uh, you might come up with different questions. But um, first, uh, we wanted to uh, make uh, Godzilla show emotion. So with this purpose, we came up with this story. So this is uh, different from the CG, of course. And I don't think and the CZ can make this kind of the uh, expression. And uh, I think um, I will like to close now because we have the uh, following general discussion. So as I said, then any creatures can be created by computer graphic. And of course, the human beings can be also created by computer graphics. And now you can uh, create um, actors who already passed away in the past. So actors after pass away, they can be also playing in the future. Or um, of course, uh, you can erase um, a crease of the older actors and actresses, turn them into younger actors and actresses. So you can do anything by computer graphics. And now you have a computer graphic based uh, actors and actresses. So if that is the case, uh, you know, uh, we wonder how the actors, real human being and actors and actresses will survive in the future. If uh, we pursue this pathway, uh, there will be no actors and act actresses in the future. So everything will be created by computer graphic. That is not impossible. But um, I myself, who has been involved in filmmaking since 20th century, I believe a movie is a drama. Drama is about the human and acting. And human acting is uh, born out of the human direction. So when human acting disappear from the uh, movies, the, there will be no uh, movies anymore to my viewpoint. So why do people uh, act or perform? Though this is quite significant and meaningful to think about that. So today I showed you a Godzilla film, but my message is that the movie is an acting. So the movie is a drama. Drama is people acting. That is very important. Thank you very much.